The Web at Risk and IT project is a collaborative effort between the California Digital Library, the University of North Texas, and New York University. The goal of Web at Risk is to build tools to capture, curate, and preserve web-based government and political information. This will enable libraries to continue their historic mission of capturing, managing, and preserving content in a web-based world. This brief demonstration will show just a few of the enormous challenges librarians now face in collecting and preserving government publications, how Web at Risk is meeting those challenges, and it will highlight the materials they are struggling to preserve. First, let's consider what's at risk. When you see the same images and stories repeated across the web, it's hard to believe they could be at risk. Pop culture seems to have a life of its own, and the public's fascination with certain events provides a bit of insurance that, for better or worse, these events will be documented for future generations. But in spite of being so widely and quickly available, most web publications are inherently fragile they can disappear from public access without warning. Digital publications are more volatile and at much greater risk of being lost than print documents. Unlike print government documents, digital ones may not flow through the central printing offices, making their number, provenance, and sometimes their very existence impossible to record. Web-based government information is particularly vulnerable to change for a variety of reasons. When new administrations assume responsibility for a website, the old information often disappears. To meet the public's appetite for current information, agencies often post the most recent versions, removing the historical record. As government and political entities are formed and dissolved, access to once public information disappears as well. Not only have libraries lost the ability to capture and store these documents, they've also lost their notification stream for new publications. Government information specialists are struggling just to discover what local agencies are publishing before it disappears. Finally, state and local agency information may be most seriously at risk. Local agencies rarely have the resources to provide archives of older digital publications. The Web at Risk curators are government information specialists from 15 different academic and special libraries. Each will be using the Web Archiving Service to build a web archive. The Web Archiving Service is being built specifically to support the Web at Risk project. Curators can create entries for websites, provide descriptive information, and capture the site on a repeated basis if needed. Curators can also search content, allowing them to discover materials they might not have known about from the sites they've captured. If a site was captured on more than one date, curators can analyze the difference between those two dates. In this case, Barack Obama's site was captured in January and again in July 2007. This is one way librarians can regain their ability to learn about new publications in the web-based environment. We can also learn more about the nature of the site. In this case, almost all of the older documents on this site have been replaced with new ones. Of the 7,500 documents found in January, only 650 remain unchanged in July. Curators can also see more clearly what documents have disappeared. The documents in this list are no longer on the site, but have been saved in the archive. Let's explore some of the collections our curators are building.
We asked our curators to provide us with sample images of the materials they're trying to capture and preserve. With many of our curators participating from the University of California, many collections concentrate on California state and local agencies. While California publications are a common focus, the project's collections are both national and international in scope. The materials at risk include environmental impact reports, budgets, and political blogs. They may once have had traditional print versions, or they may represent completely new kinds of public discourse. Our curator's work captures an incredibly rich range of material, from small and perhaps fleeting international political organizations to county and city publications across California. <laughs> 